Hello there, Soul Tribe. Welcome to my channel, The African Gypsy. My name is Sunshine, and I'm doing a reading for all air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Uh, this is a timeless reading, so whenever you find it is the right time for you. Let's find out what Spirit is saying about you. For those who've never been on this channel before, I'm a clairvoyant, so I see visions. I'm clear audacent, so I hear words, parts of phrases, and conversations that may have happened already or that are about to happen. And I'm also an empath, so I might speak as if I'm you or as if I'm someone else that you know during the course of the reading. Let me get an oracle message. Whoa, that's a lot. You air signs want to communicate a lot, don't you? Oh, okay. <laughs> Right, let's see if we can get an oracle. Okay, this jumped out twice. These two jumped out twice, so I'm going to take them. The first message I get is be honest with yourself. So you might find yourself being uh, very like, short and curt with people, very cheeky or uh, offish, and you don't understand why you're being like that. Spirit is saying that there's something you need to be honest with yourself about. You're not being honest with yourself. And these repressed emotions are appearing as anger, a spurs of outburst or anger, because you need to take time to acknowledge it. So just step out into nature and just say, universe, what am I not being honest with myself about? Please hold up a mirror so that I can see, and believe me, universe will do so. And once you find out what you're being honest about, you need to stand your ground because I feel that some of you have made some decisions that are very important and you're like going back and forth between the decisions. Is this the right thing? Is it not? Should I go back on it? Let me put these to the side because they are creating part of the theme for the reading that we're going to do. Yeah, so stand your ground. Your first decision was valid. Don't second get your, guess yourself and don't let, let other people bully you into changing your decision. Whatever you decided... Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, it's valid. Let's find out more. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Guides, Ancestors, Angels, Fairies, Mer People, Mermaids, Mer People. I'm doing a reading for the air signs. What do they need to know? This is a timeless reading. May this reading please resonate with as many people as are going to this channel or those who need this message. What do they need to know? What do they need to know right now? Clear, concise messages, please, for the collective. Thank you. Thank you for making me a channel for your messages. Thank you. I call the spirit guides of all those who are going to be led to this video to come through and give messages. Okay. So I feel that um, some of you are waiting for a very important transaction. And it's not just important in terms of getting money. What am I going to do with this money? It's more important because of the use you want to make of the money. And I see some very important written communication as well. And something you've been considering a bit of a side hustle becoming more um, lucrative or, or profitable for you. So you need to keep concentrating on that. For someone, I feel like you're writing, um, being told, say, a tutorial, you 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 doing up a tutorial keep working at it you might be doing this like on the side and uh but it could become very profitable for you once you unleash it to the parties that need to hear more about it crossing your path i see that you are going to make money from your skills and your talents what you've been trained to do and what comes naturally to you that's going to give you quite a bit of finances for you and that's going to be a very good energy for you i also feel that some of you might feel as if um, you have a tendency to cling too much to the past or other people are describing you in this way, that you cling too much to the past, you're holding on too much to what happened in the past, what didn't happen in the past. Um, and for some of you, someone is saying that you're being too miserly with either your finances or even your emotions. I feel that energy coming in for you. I also feel that someone is supposed to be studying you're supposed to be furthering your education, but for whatever reason, someone may have said uh, to stop studying or not to go ahead with studying or to take a break, a sabbatical from uh, studying and all of that. I also feel for some of you, you are about to start a business venture, which could be quite lucrative, but you've decided, okay, let me wait and research on this a bit. Let me just let the climate settle a bit. Like it could be financial markets. Let me let them settle a bit. Then I'll know at which entry point I can um, get into this business venture. And uh, you're feeling like you need to study, to take up an online course or further your education in some way so that you can be in a better, better kind of a stance when you go forward with this okay sorry about that guys i'm right back so you, someone has delayed their studying with the ace of ones reversed coming up in your reading your solution and what's coming uppermost you're thinking that 
the magician came out reversed you're thinking that you don't have the power to influence the events in your life perhaps you found yourself at a bit of a, a stand point where it's a um there's a standoff and you don't know which way to go forward for some of you you may be dealing with an issue of trickery and deception where you decided to put the brakes on a business deal that you wanted to go forward with because there's too much trickery there are too many unknown factors x, x the unknown factor there are too many unknown factors too many unknown variables too many things that may or may not happen that you're not sure of and you're like you know what if i'm investing my time and my money i need to be sure i can't have uh, six in, uh, in, um, unknown factors six variables out of ten uh, that's too much of an unknown factor for me to be able to invest my energy my time or my money into this i also feel that for some of you, you may be dealing with um a feeling where you feel like you're losing control over the situation over things around you or someone is abusing their power and their wealth using it for things that are not so uh, progressive and stuff like that we'll find out what that is all about in the past, some major lies came out. That's why some of you decided to back out of a business deal. Some lies came out when someone's like, oh, yes, uh, we, you can invest in us. We've got offices in this place. We've got a warehouse. And you're like, no, you're sure fine. Um, let me fly in or drive down and we can take a look at the premises you're talking about and move forward from then you get there and there's just a shell. And you're like, wait, wait, where's the warehouse? You told me that this business could be up and running within the next two months. Everything's already in place. I'm getting here. I'm seeing a shell of a building. I'm not seeing any infrastructure. Structure. I'm not seeing any workforce here. I'm hearing this as a specific message for someone. And you decided, no, these are too many lies. These are major lies. And I can't move forward with something that's based on a lie, on a half truth or a complete truth or a perversion of the truth altogether. I feel right now that there is a dream come true coming in for your current circumstances. You're still working on your dream and I feel that you've got divine help coming in for you, helping to make your dreams come true, make things work out for you in the best way possible. I see this could be bringing in a lot of emotional and financial stability for you, which is something that you're really hoping for. And you're like, you know what, I've been trying to work on this business, on this work, on this job. I want that stability. I want my dreams to come true and I want to be able to visualize the life that I want and have it come in for me. In the future, you're moving out of a very toxic kind of an environment. It could be a toxic workspace or home space. This has come out for quite a number of the signs. I feel that this um, is a global message. A lot of people are shifting. Well, with the a solar eclipse coming up soon, eclipses are all about that. Sudden changes, changes. It could be a change in workspace, in residence, in laws. and being told to say stat statutes statutes i suppose in laws uh yeah it could be like sudden changes you wake up one things are one way the next minute they change to something else i feel though that with this move you're making this shift it's going to help you quite a bit to heal because whatever environment you've been operating in um it's had an impact on your health it's it really your health is taking a battering because of the kind of environment you've been in and i feel for some of you you're meeting someone new in the future there's a new love coming in once you shift this environment the key the root the real story behind the story my darling air signs is you are getting some solid advice i think a lot of you are thinking a lot about work um the earth signs are the only other ones who got a lot of um, messages concerning work so you might want to check out that reading as well and see how uh, you can get further information about what's playing out so someone has been getting some valid advice from someone who's very hard working very honest um very upright you notes know, when they're doing their own work and you observe them you're like whoa this person really works hard and i admire their work ethic and their dedication and their consistency and their persistence and all of that this person's coming in and saying you know what I know how to make your dreams come true. You need to invest your money in this way or you need to hold off on this particular investment until it gets to this stage and then you put in your investment or you need to go full throttle into this investment. It's the best thing you could do. Or you need to research a bit, study, and then go into this investment. So listen to this advice that someone is giving you. This person is very grounded, very earthy, could possibly be an earth sign, but not necessarily. There is stability coming in for you and Spirit is saying that there's going to be a need for self-care. Take time to take care of yourself. You know, you take care of everyone else, but you also need to take time to take care of yourself as well. I also feel this energy that any problems that you're encountering, because yes, there are quite a number of interesting circumstances around you, but any problem that you are encountering is not as serious as it first looks. There's a way around it. There's a solution. There's a, a way to work things around. And I see you being more decisive, going off into new directions and forming new relationships in the process. 
yeah, you're thinking that you're feeling a bit depressed, you know, you're crying about a missed opportunity, um, crying about an opportunity that you thought this was going to be the, the game changer for everything. But I feel that as you're crying about what the, the spilled cups, there's still like, Two more full cups. Three cups have been spilled, but they're two full cups. So don't spend too long crying about the deception and the trickery that you encountered. And like, now how can these people lie to me like that? How can they be so dishonest, you know, blatantly dishonest like that? Because I feel like this dishonesty or is a, a show of disrespect. You know, you can't respect me enough to tell me the truth. This is disrespect and I, I can't go forward with someone with ethics like that. I feel you saying that this is a particular conversation with someone. It's not for everyone. I feel like there are eight people watching this video who are expressing this sentiment. That's how Spirit is saying I should put it. But more balance is going to come in and respect because you, I just spoke about the respect earlier on. And more respect is coming in for you. I also feel that there's going to be an improvement in your circumstances and um, favorable working conditions as well going to be coming in for you. You're going to be working in the kind of condition that you feel like, you not know this is good for me. And your efforts are going to be recognized and rewarded even unexpectedly. Now, let's clarify this a bit let's find out i'm going to use one of my new decks here for my air signs let's see air signs are all about communications uh, you're strong on the communication as well so anytime there's a miscommunication or a lack of communication it really rubs you up the wrong way and you get all those uh, words like disrespect and um and, and stuff like that coming up in your mind when that happens Okay, ancestors, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, please clarify for me what is this Ace of Wands reversed? Yeah, I'm being told to use the words blatant dis disrespect. Someone felt that that was an energy. Oh, okay, you want to come out? Of yeah, okay. All right, I see. You're not invested into a certain situation because you felt there was a blatant disrespect and a lot of fighting. Fighting, conflict, people who are a bit of a disagreeable bunch who like to hit hard they don't care where they hurt a person check out this bunch here very confrontational antagonistic liking to fight not wanting peace going for the jaguar going for the self-esteem and all of that but they were trying to come back in and you're like no 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 after the the way you showed me your true colors i i, I read somewhere a few days ago if someone shows you true color they shows you their true colors don't try to repaint them. That's who they truly are. And the, the universe, the heaven has been kind enough to reveal the true colors to you. Tell me more. So this could be a situation with people who are coming in from the past. and um, But there's a lot of confrontational energy still all the same. Whether it's you confronting them and calling them out on the bullshit. Or it's them coming in very confrontational and all of that. Like, no, you said we're going to go forward with this business. You say that you're going to support us with this uh, element of things. But why aren't you coming through? And you're like, no, you know, you lied to me. I, I can't put my money where there's no respect because that lie is a, a show of disrespect for me. And you're wanting to take a leap of faith and some people are not happy about that. I feel that this is a message as well. There could be certain business partners you were working with previously and you decided, no, I'm not working with you anymore. I'm getting a, a new group of people to work with, people that I feel have the same sort of work ethic and moral values as I've got, and I'm not working. I'm going to take a leap of faith and try something new, and they're like, no, 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 we need to work together. How dare you move forward into the future without us? We started this thing together. We're the reason that why this thing has been working like this. And you're like, yeah, but you've been fighting me the whole way. There's been no unity. There's no unity of vision, of purpose, and where there's division... There can't be progress because everyone's pulling in their own different direction. A team that's divided against itself can't win. Imagine when you've got, like, for argument's sake, man, you, and part of them are defending and part of them are scoring for the op opposite team, you No, know, an own goal. That becomes an own goal and just, like, no goal <laughs> for their team. You know, you can get the other team to score. Okay, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Guides, Ancestors, please come through with clear messages for my air signs. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, what's coming towards them in the future? Some of you are moving away emotionally from a certain circumstance. Um, whoa, that's dramatic, guys. You're moving away from a certain situation. You're emotionally moving away. You're no longer emotionally invested in it. You're like, I know the truth that there is about this. I saw the blatant lies. Yeah, it's over. It's done.
Ten of Swords, you've been stabbed all sorts of ways and they left you for dead. They thought you were never going to rise up again. But look, there's dawn breaking in the background there. And I also see quite clearly as well that there's a witness. You know, they, they thought they left you for dead. And um, you know, it could be emotionally, it could be financially, whatever it is. All these swords in your back. But you still can, like, kind of like moving one finger. But there's a witness. You know, universe, spirit, ancestors, God is a witness. There's a witness there who's come in. You feel like you're abandoned, but there's a witness who's come in and probably lick your face and whip you back into consciousness and you can get up and move from this. But this is over. It's done. In the future, it's done. You know, And the world card, this is also telling me that a cycle is finished. It's done. You've learned everything that you needed to learn. Yes, it was a very painful experience with all these swords in your back, but you've learned everything that you needed to learn about this lesson and you're ready to move forward into a new world, a new dimension, um, a new way of living. And spirit is in it. God is in it. Your ancestors are in it. You're not, tot not totally alone. Like I just said right there, this is a confirmation. I feel that... Um, you're stepping into a new beautiful experience after what you went through as you're turning your back on a certain situation. You're no, no longer emotionally invested into a certain situation. You're moving to new, new things and the hangman came out reversed. You're seeing things from a different perspective. It's interesting that these two figures look like they're leaping into a new life. So the, that stagnation that you're going through, it's, it's come to an end. You're seeing things through a new, in, through new eyes. You're using your intuition. You're leaping into action after like lying down. See, he's got this character lying down. These two leaping into action. So this cycle is finished. It's done. I feel like I should put them this way. First, you're on the, on, 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 on the ground feeling like you've been defeated and you're rising up into a new world, a new circumstance, and spirit is in it. There may be a lot of travel and exploration for some people as well. Definitely the closing of a cycle for something brand new to come in for you. What is, excuse me, what is the key? What is that financial advice coming through for my air signs? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Guides, Ancestors, please come through with messages for your children here. What do they need to know? What is this financial advice so that they can recognize it when it comes through for them? What is this? What is this coming through? What is what are they being told? Thank you. Yeah, someone is being told to leave the past behind. The six of cups came out reverse. Someone is being told, you know what? Forget about the past. You ain't got nothing there to look back at. Ain't nothing pretty to look back at. So choose different scenery. Choose a different thing to look at. Don't look at the past. Remember at the very beginning, I spoke about clinging too much to the past. So someone's saying, don't cling too much to the past because you are the empress. Empress energy is about fertility, um, riches, wealth, respect, knowing yourself, knowing every aspect of yourself. Because when you're lying on your back there with the tensor sticking in your back, you got enough time to know, okay, this is what got me in this situation. This is what I'm not going to do to ever, if I don't ever want to get back into this kind of a position again. Empress is about, you know, the good life, the champers, the bubble bath, things going very well for you public celebration as well and you're moving forward with a, a lot of passion as well passion dedication you may be dealing with an aries but not necessarily and i feel like uh, you're getting the help of someone to move from some very disruptive circumstances like i said earlier for some of you these disruptive circumstances have been on the home front and you've got someone who's very militant almost someone who's got some sort of like um security training but not necessarily this could be your own energy as well where you're very focused and you've got a lot of self-discipline like okay this thing has gone south we need to pack this up roll up the stuff ship it off relocation orders granted set up tent at the next location and make it a win-win for myself and for other people around me yeah you finally get to start the new business the the conflicting circumstances that I have left and you're not looking back at past experiences, at, at the past. Of course, you're learning from experience, but you're not clinging to the past. Something brand new starts for you. It could be a new business, a new relationship, the gem of a new idea. And Spirit is saying, whatever it is that you want to start by air signs, it's a gem of an idea. Go for it. It's beautiful. Just do your research. And someone is telling you, you know, research and start this business. Don't fold up your business idea just because it didn't work in this particular circumstance, just because you had some sort of restrictions in your working practices. Don't feel that, oh, no, this is a bad business for me to do because the circumstances were very restrictive. Relocate. Do it there. Go into a different neighborhood, a different workspace, a different office park or whatever it may be for you. 
What is the solution for my air signs, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Guides? What is the solution for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? Let's get some solutions for you when all of this um, comes out. You're already told to stand your ground and be honest with yourself. You know, there are times when you know something is not working, but at the back of your mind, you're like, oh, I can't afford to think like that. This is the person who pays my rent or they buy my food or they support everything I do. I can't afford to think of them as a person who's... Um, I heard the word negligent. Okay, it was being negligent in some other part of of your life, and yeah, be honest with yourself and stand your ground once you make your decisions. What is the solution for my air signs? Holy Spirit, holy angels, holy guides. What do my air signs need to know? What do my air signs need to know? What do my air signs need to know? Someone needs to drink a lot of water. And eat watermelon if you can get it wherever you are in the world to help you as well to detox. Maybe morning walks as well will be very handy for you. What is the solution for my air signs? Thank you. Oh, there are quite a few. So Spirit is saying go for the bounty. You know, you're standing with the energy. You may be doing the Virgo. There could be a Virgo listening to this message as well. Stand your ground, go for the bounty, coming out as the queen of swords, getting your finances, and have the strength, moral and physical strength, mind over matter. Get out of bed, go through the paces, keep on working, even if it looks like there are no results. It's like um, cultivation, like planting a few seeds even on your windowsill, whatever it, can, whatever it may be. When you first put the seeds in, it doesn't look like anything's happening, but you keep watering, you keep talking to your little plants when they shoot up. Before you know it, the little shoot's coming up, it's now growing, it's blooming and all of that. So ha have the moral and physical strength to carry on doing what you're doing regardless of the circumstance. Some of you are conquering ego. Some of you are dealing with a Leo or a Virgo. Virgo is definitely coming out. There's a Virgo involved here. Definitely a Virgo involved. There are too many cars that are talking about Virgo here. So you're conquering ego. It might be low self-esteem after what you went through. Because remember I spoke about the people, the disagreeable bunch, who are always fighting and all of that and trying to fight and um, affect your self-esteem, make you feel bad about yourself. So you, you don't have the strength to get up and try again because they've attacked you where it hurts the most. They're hitting your solar plexus and making you lose all that courage. But no, you're conquering all of that. Or you're dealing with someone who's very egotistical and you've conquered that. There's strength, there's success, and you are going to be successful financially. You're going to stand in, in this power then. Someone's coming in with a proposal for you. For some of you, someone's getting, giving you a gift. So Spirit's saying, open up your gifts. Someone's giving you a gift. It could be a gift of a, a physical gift coming through. For some of you, it's a gift that's inherent in you as well. Part of your solutions, yeah, the ace of the, the five of swords came out reversed. Step away from the conflict. Do you see this? Excuse the next word I heard. I heard the, the word jackass. With this jackass being so confrontational and wanting to cause conflict, you, you, I call him a, a jackass or a sabo spirit is saying jackass because he's carrying all these swords because it's all about conflict. And you see, the battle scene is there again. Some people totally defeated, lying in the ground. Someone is just got a little bit of strength left. I don't think that he's waiting for anyone to perform the harikuri on him. He's more like, nah, I can still get up. This light can shine on me again. But look at this guy here. He's carrying all these swords, but blade side in. As much as he's causing you conflict, he can hurt himself in the process. He thinks it's a, a, a victory, but it's just a temporary victory because this guy is about to get up and the sun is about to rise. The dawn is about to break for him. Spirit is saying, step away from the conflicts, from the trickery, from the deception, the lies, the manipulation. Yeah, how how much how else can I say this? You've got your back turned on this. You're like, you know what? I'm stepping away from all this conflict. I'm gonna react, respond, not react. And look at my ships coming in the distance there. My back is turned on what is going on on land here on this land. I'm looking towards a, a different environment, a different scenario, and I've got peace and hope coming in with this. Bird symbolizing that and your ships are coming in. You're not looking at the distant future. You're looking at distant prospects. They don't, don't have to be physically distant. It could be, just be a, a far cry from all the conflict and the divisions and the backstabbing, um, the trickery, the deception, the manipulation and all of that you've been going through. Guys, what's going on? Is this this Aries energy coming in all this conflict and fight? But it looks like the air signs are going to be handling it quite well. Air signs are just going to be like, yeah, I, I see you. I see the conflict. But you know what? I'm just going to dash it away. 
clear the energy for some of you there. Okay, let me get um, some more oracle messages. Okay, okay, Spirit is saying I should clarify the, the standing your ground that came up in the beginning. What are you standing your ground about? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Guys. What are my beautiful air signs standing the ground about? So you've made a decision possibly to walk away, to turn your back on a certain situation that was not serving you anymore, that was weighing you down more than it gave you benefits, that was breaking your heart and causing your health to be affected in some way. And once you step away from it, you find that your health improves because you're no longer being stabbed by the um, psychic arrows or psychic attacks you've been going through. Yeah. <laughs> Dash it away. Queen of Swords is coming to dash away some things as you're taking back control of your life. You see this boss, babe? See how she's leaning back with the sword in hand like, what? You've been coming at me with all of that? Dash it away. I'm not going to stand for any of this. I'm, I'm going to stand in my power, take back control of my life. It could be Aries energy. And for some of you, as you're moving away, you're going to be dealing more with people in leadership. For someone, I'm being told you're kind of like cutting out some middlemen who've been uh, holding you back. And you're dealing with people in, in authority or some sort of leadership, in whatever leader of a church, a family, a, a, a corporation, or whatever it may be. So you're using your truth. You know, you've got the sword of truth here. You now know the truth. The truth has been revealed to you. And you're not afraid to unleash it at the right time. The truth has come out and you've got a lot of strength and you're cutting away what no longer serves you so you can take back control of your life. You can have that confidence coming back and be on top of your A game. And you're listening to your intuition, looking at things from a different perspective after the truth was revealed to you about these confrontational people and all of that. And you're like, you know what? Okay, I know the truth. I'm cutting out what I don't need. I'm taking back control of my life. I'm taking back my power. I'm stepping back into my power and doing the things that serve me the best way. Not in a selfish way. It's not always selfish. You know, we always brought up to say, no, um, give the other person a chance first. Oh, no, you're playing on the swings. Give your friend a chance. Let them play and whatever. And maybe your friend has kicked up a, a fuss and it, it being melodramatic to get their own way. And as we grow up, sometimes you you just keep on like moving back. And say, okay, okay, I'll, I'll give you a space. I'll let you do it. And you're like, no, hell, end to the O. I'm not doing that. I'm standing up in my strength. I'm, I'm taking back my power. I'm reaching for the stars. It's Aquarius coming in. I'm reaching for the stars. I'm doing what serves me, what's good for me. And it's called self-care, not selfishness. It's called self-care in this case. All right. I was going to get some, uh, some more oracle cards for you leading me out of this reading. <clears throat> You'll be all right, air signs. You'll be fine. This too shall pass. Sometimes when you go through transitions, they're a bit painful. It's like the butterfly coming out of the cocoon. It hurts like a... Mm -mm -mm. But, you know, you come out looking quite fine after all of that is said and done. The Spirit saying, you've all been praying. That's why you don't need to worry. When I say pray, I use the word prayer loosely. Been praying, meditating, doing your affirmations and all of that. And you're five minutes away from your prayers being answered. Pray. Have you been praying about this situation and just saying, you know what, ancestors... God, spirit, fairies, angels, mer people. I'm in a bit of a, a sticky situation. I'm in a conundrum. I don't know how best to step out of it, but please step in and take me peacefully away from the situation. I want to be able to walk away from the situation with dignity, with love, with my head held high. And I want to walk off into the future, into the bright prospects, into the best things, into an atmosphere where the people who are supportive and caring and all of those good things. Don't give up. Proceed with faith and gratitude. All right, my darling air signs. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Uh, you will be fine. You'll be okay. God is with you. Spirit is with you. Your ancestors are with you. Your mer people are with you. You have not been abandoned in the fight. So if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, please do check out my details down in the description box down below. And give my video a thumbs up if you like my energy. Do share and do subscribe and tap the bell notification so you'll be notified the next time I do post a, read, a reading. Until the next time, love and light, sunshine, signing out.